Hello, my name is Jessica. In this video, we will look at the debate from the November 22nd Teen Times article, newspaper number 556. The topic today that we will discuss is should professional cheerleaders be banned at professional sporting events? Now, before I defend the cons, let's take a look at my introduction. My first point, cheerleaders image. When I hear the word cheerleaders, I think of two very different images. The first is of student athletes, those who work hard and practice to perfect their routines and compete in prestigious competitions. The second and unfortunately more prominent image is those who perform at sporting events. Now they may look like cheerleaders, however, they are very different from the student athletes I mentioned earlier. Now let's move on to my second point, wholesome tradition. If you watch movies that take place in the 60s and 70s, like Pleasantville, Grease, and Remember the Titans, cheerleaders are not sexualized. They are covered up, they are portrayed in a very innocent light. Now how did this image change in 40 years? One reason is that we live in a sexualized society. What I mean by this is that sex is no longer taboo, like it was in our parents' generation, or even our grandparents' generation. Now, we're not here to discuss the pros and cons of that issue, but one of the major problems is that in our society, sex sells, which brings me to point number four. Companies advertise their products through very sexual imagery. Professional sports teams, which are companies, because they generate millions of dollars in revenue, are also guilty of this too. They, they hire beautiful, tall, skinny women to represent their team. This brings me to my last point, role of male cheater, cheerleaders. What is the role of male cheerleaders? Oh wait, that's right, there are no male cheerleaders on professional sports teams. This isn't surprising because most people who watch sports are male and men do not want to see half-naked men performing sexually, sexually charged stunts whenever they tune in to watch a game. Alright, now let's look at the first statement. The pros say that cheerleading is a personal choice. Of course, we live in a democratic society. However, there are limits to this. There's no doubt that sex sells, but at the same time, society is critical of issues such as rape, pornography, sexual predators, and sexual harassment. So why is it okay to showcase half-naked girls in front of millions of people? This leaves them vulnerable to threats. My last two points, cheerleaders role and who cheers for teams. Cheerleaders only have one role at a professional sporting event. That is to look pretty, to wear short clothes, and to show their cleavage. But the question I ask is why? What is the purpose of this? Male fans don't need cheerleaders to pump them up. That's the responsibility of the players and the game itself. And women obviously don't need cheerleaders to make them excited for a game. The idea that sports team even needs cheerleaders, that idea is just ironic. I mean, what's the point of all the screaming fans inside the stadium? Let's go on to my second statement. The pros say that other forms of media sexualize women. I admit, this is true. But just because they do so doesn't make it right. Do parents want to expose their children to such sexual imagery? What kind of values does our society promote? Sex sells, but companies should be more morally responsible. Professional cheerleaders influence teenage girls to be more provocative and wear sexual clothing. Teenage cheerleaders will thus practice more sexual, sexual stunts and focus less on gymnastic stunts. We should move this bad influence completely altogether. Okay, so let's look at the final statement. The pros say that people prefer watching male athletes to female athletes. There's no doubt that male athletes are bigger, they're stronger, they're faster, so this makes the game more exciting and watchable. However, their point is completely irrelevant. 
At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if people want to watch the NBA over the WNBA. The point is that professional cheerleaders are considered real athletes by many men. This is becoming a problem because their image is influencing more and more governing bodies to mold female athletes into that image. Please allow me to explain. The International Amateur Boxing Association recently announced that it's considering requiring female athletes, female boxers that is, to wear skirts. The Badminton World Federation also proposed last year that their skirts, that women athletes should wear skirts or dresses. Now this, to put it mildly, is completely ridiculous. The female athletes, the real ones, the Mia Hams, the Serena Williams, the Michelle Kwans, the Yuna Kims, they should be respected for their individual talent, not based on what they wear. Alright, let's go into my conclusion. Cheerleading is a very serious sport, and cheerleaders have a lot of talent, there's no question about it. Just look at movies like Bring It On. However, professional cheerleaders only serve as eye candy to the crowd, I mean, do the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders need to sell swimsuit calendars every year to fans? The best cheerleaders are the fans, some of whom pay thousands of dollars to attend a game. So for these reasons, I believe that we should ban cheerleading at all professional sporting events.